Hi, it's Darren here from TrainingHorses.com again. Okay, uh, this is a video which uh, hopefully we're going to see some action in. It's um, just to demonstrate the new traffic light indicators that um, we just told our members about today, which has actually gone live on the site today. So we're going to try and make some trades using that. Now, a couple of things to say is, first of all, uh, I've only got a single screen here, so it's a little bit difficult for me to get all the information on the screen. So we're just going to go ahead and see what, what we can actually do here. You can see I've got a race loaded up here. It's the uh, 2.50 at Haydock. We're on um, Thursday, the uh, 2nd of uh, July, and we've got about 10 minutes to go before the race starts, 9 minutes, well, 8 minutes in fact. So uh, we've got some new indicators which have been provided on the software. I'll explain a little bit more about them as we go along. But what you'll see here, if you're familiar with the usual uh, trading the horses screen, you'll see that now we're getting, as well as the price changes actually flashing up, we're actually getting um, different color boxes and green is obviously significant as in green for go, it's a traffic light system, we've got two colors basically green uh, and yellow, so green for a strong signal, yellow for a medium signal, if it appears in the um, uh, back box then it's a back selection if it appears in the um, lay box then it's a lay selection so we're just going to follow these signals and I'll explain a little bit about them as I go through like I say I've, I'm struggling to get all the information or all, all the boxes on the screen here so um, we just got the Geeks Toy software set up and all I've done literally is set up very small stakes and just basically to um, uh, take a tick um, Basically, we're, we're trying to back up the lay price, lay at the back price, uh, and then immediately we get matched. We're going to fire in a reverse bet into the market. Just see if we can just scalp um, a few ticks as and when the uh, traffic light signals actually appear. Now, the thing to say about this is there's a mathematical formula there, and I'm going to try and trade as I'm talking, which is not always easy. Um, and the mathematical formula is, um, is there and will exist when the signals... Um, again, we will explain more about those in subsequent videos, but um, as that criteria is actually met, then the signal will appear. Uh, but the idea is really twofold, is, is one that it will supplement your existing trading activity um, because the signals will actually um, will appear um, on the actual um, selections that you're uh, that you're trading so that may well reinforce your existing trading activity or the selections that you're actually making which is fine and um, which is probably good anyway because it shows you're on the right lines but also it, it will enable you to spot uh, potential horses that you can trade that you might not otherwise pick up so your trading might activity or strategies may be based around something else the traffic lights will then appear um, within the actual um, software ads in the in the in the run-up to the race and will perhaps give you additional opportunities but it's by no means a, a single um, strategy in its own right i mean you're welcome just to follow the traffic lights if you like well, again we're seeing here we've got a green selection coming up on the uh, the favorite here um, so basically what we're doing is we're looking to um, put a back bet into the market as the green flashes up uh, when that gets matched then the software will immediately fire in a reverse bet um, in our case a lay bet in order to um, in order to lay it off at the uh, at the lower price so you can see here we've made a few uh, trades already and we've already got just over two pounds on this particular selection and we could green up for 71 I mean the, the, the actual amounts are negligible because this would be totally scalable because you can see the amount of money we're already up to two hundred thousand pound in the market so whatever stakes we're using here you know within reason can be uh, can be scaled up as much as you want this is just to really prove prove the actual theory of what's going on here obviously we can't see all of the screen here because um, of some limitations but uh, basically we've got the usual TTH screen uh, wind market and just off of here which is quite important is the actual bookmaker prices as well which are used again as part of the calculation we're, we're looking at the average uh, movement in the prices and what the bookmakers are doing to decide whether it's going to be a, a green which is a strong signal for go or it's an amber signal which is basically keep an eye on that one or perhaps if you want to open a trade you might do it at more reduced stakes or um, it could be building up to be a green selection so again it's one to keep your eye on so we're going to look at this um, uh, favorite again because it's still holding steady as a as a green selection so what we look to do is at 
and again we, we, we're still looking at the market as well itself it's not it's not a blind um, strategy in a sense we can see here now we, we, we're going to come up against particularly as it's a favorite and we're in the last few minutes before the off um, some large stakes um, a larger amount there so it'd be very easy to actually get trapped within those um, amounts or just get stuck in the queues in which case that's going to also cause some issues so again the usual training rules and common sense apply you know it's not just shut your eyes and press the button type strategy it's um you know it's still to supplement the existing trading activity and the uh, uh, standard trades that you actually make now again what also i would say here is that we're obviously trading this using the grid interface which again is, is really just to get the information on the screen because at the time we don't know which of these horses necessarily are going to appear as a possible selection for this demonstration video so again i wouldn't advocate using the grid as a method of uh, trading horses normally you know we can't we can't actually see any depth to the market or even see where our positions are within the market itself but the important thing here is that we've We've got a few things going against us and we're still actually making a profit based on these particular signals and in fact if we pull the ladder up now um, I'm going to use that just to see if we've still actually got any selections you can see there we've got some selections which haven't actually been matched so what we're going to do is just take those out because again we can't actually see those uh, whilst we're putting, putting those in. Um, and we can see now that the indicator has gone off so again what what may well be is that you'll be carrying on your normal trading activity that you would be doing now um, if one of the indicators actually pops up or shows up then that's again that's a time to actually jump on um, in the direction that it's actually showing so it's suggesting that the price may still drop again uh, and we can see here but um, and the reason for that is the indicator was coming up um, you can see here that we've got the price here in the current place market 144 if we look at the price market on Betfair which is what we use as our sort of benchmark in order to um, in order to uh, identify which way the uh, markets are going to move um, that's coming out as 146 so we can see that it's um, effectively uh, it should be a back price the, the price is going to move down so we can put a back bet into the market and then we uh, uh, and then we actually trade out of that um, at a lower price likewise uh, if it was um, going the opposite direction then we would see the signals appearing in the lay box there so we're effectively using the place market in order to identify and do the calculations behind the scenes but where all the liquidity and the main action is is obviously within the wind market itself so that, that would be the market which we would uh, uh, primarily place our uh, place our trades in and look to actually um, um, look to actually trade within uh, so you can see we're coming up now to within sort of a um, less than a minute before the off um, I can check here we've got position there which didn't get filled so again that sort of shows you know at the point we got in the market we just missed it there and and this is perhaps a uh, perhaps a slight indication of the, the way that we're actually trading this as well because we're asking for prices so we are actually trying to get uh, we're trying to back the horse at the lay price in order to get an extra tick uh, within the market um, then again we can we may miss certain opportunities but it also means if we do get matched we're in a very good position because we can lay off um, perhaps get um, an extra tick um, or certainly if the market moves against us we can get out without um, without a loss or for a scratch trade so it, it's well worth doing you may miss some but certainly when, when you're starting out as well it's, it's it's the best way to go about it so okay so that, so I'm not got a screen so I don't, I don't know if we're right at the off but certainly the time's gone over so normally we would just go in we would green that up across all the runners so there we go 77 76 pence uh, across all the runners but what we can see here is that pretty much all the time that I've been talking um, and going on this has been coming up as a green indicator and if we actually reflect that on the graph you can see there we've got a very sort of steady movement in um, on the actual selection um, which the software has picked up the additional indicator has picked up as well it's a drop in market so that would have been perfect I mean in our case we were doing very small scalps and going back in again could well have been that the green indicator was staying on we could take more ticks and it would turn into more of a an actual swing trade but the the important thing here is the fact that you know again the software besides all the other advantages we've got is now we've got some new signals which again going to give you um, some 
enhanced opportunities uh, to even improve your trading even more and make more profitable selections so I hope that's a good demonstration of the um, of the traffic lights as I say uh, we will get uh, more videos as well and also I look to get a setup where perhaps we can get the ladder interface on as well and um, the problem is here, here is is actually I want to demonstrate that what's going on here against what's going on in the Betfair market so I do want to show it all uh, we could hop about between two different screens but that may be a bit more distracting so the fact we've got it all on one screen at least you can see the action as it goes along anyway um, good luck with that and obviously if you've got any questions uh, drop us a line trading the horses at gmail.com and of course if you're not a member yet then uh, get across to www.tradingthehorses.com and you can get a uh, two-week um, trial version of the software uh, for just 20 pounds come on and try it out see what you think and as I say with the indicators in place now as well then it's going to take you no time at all to actually um, uh, even make that trial subscription money back up and um, uh, you'll be well placed for all the uh, all the summertime racing to come as well okay I'll speak to you again soon cheers bye bye